right, I got a question for you. Can I film you? No. No? No, what's the reason? What's the film? We, got, we're, we do a YouTube channel. Oh, okay. So, no yeah, what's that? No? No. All right, no worries. Good morning. You're going to love this video. Yes, we are going into town with our good friend, Benjamin. And this is it. That's it. So, we're going to take you guys on a fun day with only $100 in Nassau. We're calling it the $100 challenge. After it's gone, we got to come back to the boat. The fun is over. So, let's go. There's Atlantis! Nassau is by far not the most affordable destination in the Bahamas, but it is the most visited because of the cruise ship terminals here. And a common misconception is it's not the island of Nassau, it's actually the island of New Providence and on that since Nassau, which is the capital of the Bahamas. With our $100 challenge, we've set some rules for ourselves that we have to follow for the day. That's right, we're gonna do two meals here on the island. We're gonna do breakfast and lunch. And secondly, we each have to get a tropical drink of our choice. The third thing is we have to find at least one souvenir. Yes. And the fourth, and probably what will be the hardest, we have to go on an island tour. All of that in $100. Can we make it? We will see. How much is your horse in the carrot? 50? 15. 15. All right. Ah. 15 a piece of 30 bucks for the horse drawn carriage. All right, so we're here at the cruise terminal, and today there are six cruise ships coming in. Yesterday there were six cruise ships coming in, or that were here. So there is just a lot of people that come in through this cruise terminal every single week coming to Nassau. And this is where all the tour operators are. So the guy behind us is selling Swimming with the Pigs. The lady was just walked by asking if we want to go on ATV tours. And we're going to find out what some of the, these tours cost. First of all, my name is Jay. I'm one of the best tour guys here in Nassau. All right. Right now I'm selling the Atlantis. I'm selling a city tour. Okay. We take you at the Atlantis, where you take some photos in the Million Dollar King Trident Shield, the Flying Horses, the Crystals. We go to some nice beaches called the Cable Beach, Love Beach, we power sail, rent chairs, banana boats, jet ski. Two hour hop on, hop off tour. Okay. You can get it privately or you can go with a group or with your family. And, and how much does that cost? With, with the groups, we do 40 bucks. Of, I do Just 40. two of us? Well, okay. if two of us, we do private, you want to do the two hours, I'll give you a great show for 120 for two hours. 120 okay. for two hours, okay. Yeah. And then, um, all right, well, let me ask you this. We only got $100 to spend today. And that includes two meals. We got to get a souvenir and we got to get two drinks. Wow. Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one, <laughs> yeah, right? That's, that's, that's a tough one. That's what we're doing our video on right now. Yeah, so I, the best I can offer you guys is to go with the group, with the $35 group, and then just take good care of it. Like, yeah? Yeah. Will they, give us, will they feed us yeah. two meals? No, it's not no. Two meals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it'll be 70 bucks for the two of us to go with the group tour. Yeah. All right. No worries, man. Hey, I appreciate your time. Yeah, All right, I got a question for you. Can I film you? No. No? No, what's the reason? What's the problem? We, got, we're, we do a YouTube channel. Oh, okay, no so, yeah, no. What's that? No? No. All right, no worries. All right, so I just talked to a taxi driver, and to give you guys perspective of how far $100 goes here in Nassau, I just asked them how, far, how much it would cost for two people to go to the airport, which is only a mere eight miles away. Guess what that was? 50 bucks. $25 a person to go to the airport only eight miles away. So. Our challenge today is going to be pretty difficult. Can we do uh, some breakfast? All right, what have we got for breakfast? Okay, you want an omelet and toast? Or what was the other option? Or omelet and grits. I'll do the omelet and toast. Omelet and toast? How much is that? Yeah, yeah. $8? Yeah. Okay. We still have 20, 40, 60, 80, $92 to go. 
In our short time of being in the Bahamas, we've seen that they're always selling bottled water. So today, to save a few bucks, we did pack our own waters. We'll probably still have to buy some bottled water because I expect we're going to be drinking a lot of water. Yeah, it's, it's hot. hot. It's, uh, it's still morning time, and I feel so thirsty. So hopefully it helps, though. We're about to have breakfast. So this is our first meal of the day, and actually it's a pretty good portion yeah. for $8. I'm really glad we got that a pretty we large got omelet one. and four pieces of toast, so I will take my two pieces. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm gonna bon do. Bon appetit. Yeah. How is it? Very good. Made with love by Linda? Yeah, there you go. That's the way of doing it. Sample of some rum cake. I want a sample. Thank you. You're welcome. What? That's pretty good. That's really good. How much is it? $9 for one? Yeah, is that for the small one? Stop. That's the real small one. <laughs> So as you walk down the street here in the tourist district, uh, just outside of the cruise terminal, you'll find a lot of jewelry stores. Rolex, Breitling, Park Lane, International Diamonds, the, the list goes on and on, right? And the reason for that is because if you come here and you buy these expensive pieces, they are duty free, tax free. So it's a very big thing for tourism in the sense that you come here and you buy that big engagement ring that you've been saving up for and you save a few hundred dollars on taxes. We're at the famous straw market here, which is where all these little vendors are. And we're on a mission to accomplish one of our goals today. We're gonna find a souvenir, but we're gonna have some fun with it. We're going to find the our favorite souvenir because they're all kind of the same yeah. here, but we're gonna figure out how much we can haggle with them and how much we can get the souvenir for. Yeah. That. All right, so how much for the wooden lobster? I can work with you. You can work uh, with me? I can give you the regular price. Tell me how much you're going to spend, and let's see if you work with Oh, That's okay. How about Tom? They all come apart all so you can apart. travel with them. All right. So you can travel with them. All right. So, put them right back on. I'm going to go back home. This is where we eat them back home. That's pretty cool. And it's the lobster. All right. All handmade, hand cut. All right, so how much is the lobster? Now, usually I normally sell the lobster $80, but this guy is so nice. <laughs> $80? I'll give it to him for $60, and I carve his name onto it. You're going to carve the name on it? I could engrave your name onto it. Oh, my gosh. Unfortunately, that is out of our budget for today. So we got to look for something different. It's too big. It's too much. <laughs> So you gotta work with me a little bit. Okay, what is your budget for this? I don't know. I don't know. We got this is our first stop. We gotta look around too. I wanna work with you. You're lobster. gonna work with me? <laughs> <laughs> the lobster cut your eyes. Yeah, the lobster you're gonna be catch. my you're gonna be my new friend with visit to the Bahamas. But wait, I like the I like the lionfish too though. Are the lionfish <laughs> more than the lobster? What's your budget on the lionfish? She wanted $80 for that lobster. She wanted to work with me. I think I could have gotten it for 50, but it's way out of our budget for today. Uh, but still a really cool piece, and I really liked it. I kind of like these bags too. Yeah, like, they're you pretty can use a, cool. another bag. You can always use a bag. Always use a bag. I pay for when I charge 25, but she can have the $20 oh. for you charge, you charge 25 for that? Yes, and I give it to you for 20 Wow, that's a pretty good deal. I like that's that. That's a very good deal. Yeah. Right. You give me 20 Well, we just, uh, we just got here, so we're going to look around a little bit. But I appreciate you jumping up out of your chair to run over here. <laughs> Brenda? Thank you, Brenda. Great to meet you, Brenda. I'm Cole. I'm this Emily. Emily. Great to meet you. Thank God you. bless you, too.
we have no machinery because we have a group of five to seven workers who does everything by hand. Here at John Watlands, we do everything by hand. So the great thing about John Watling's rum tour is, and distillery tour is that it's free. So it didn't go into, come out of our $100 pot for the day, um, but it is really cool. They make everything by hand here. As you can see, they had like seven or eight people down there bottling and labeling and sealing all the bottles. Um, all of the rum here is made from 100% sugar cane really really cool and just small batch rum right so pretty special and i'm not a huge i'm not a rum connoisseur by any means but certainly can appreciate the craft and also the drinks so emily caught on pretty quick to me um looking for our souvenir unfortunately the single barrel bottle of rum is 110 dollars, so that certainly doesn't go with our budget for the day, but their other rum is only $29. So I don't know. I feel like that's the perfect souvenir to take back to the boat. So we found our tour. We found our tour. This is our tour of the island. We're gonna go with Patrick here in this horse-drawn carriage, and we're gonna see the beautiful area of Nassau. So let's go. So we just got done doing the horse-drawn carriage tour, island tour, and we have to say, we're really disappointed. Really bummed. It ended up costing us $33, uh, which means we have five or $10 left. $10 left. $10 left. I didn't feel like it was $33 worth of quality service. No, unfortunately the guy, and there goes one right there, uh, unfortunately, the guide honestly just read the signs to us as we were passing the businesses. Yeah. And half of the businesses that he was reading us signs to were businesses that have been shut down for right. many, many years. I mean, and he like. He kind of just mumbled, and it was really hard to hear him. The guy had this expectation of like this bright character talking through the tour, and so we could learn something, but unfortunately, it was not the case. Yeah, so it was fun to ride and right around in the carriage, I guess. It was pretty guess. funny to be in a horse-drawn carriage behind a semi-truck. Yeah. The juxtaposition of that in my mind, I was like, wait, we're on the road behind a semi-truck. But yeah. for us, it was certainly not worth the expense. Yeah. So. Now we're gonna go spend our last $10 strategically. Yeah, but hey, the reason why we picked the horse-drawn carriage was because it was the least expensive tour. So I guess in this situation, you get what you pay for. That is true. Mm. What do you think? Good stuff. It's nice and moist. I'm sure a lot of you love that word, moist. This girl's all about the what the right calories, right? The right calories. I like to pick my calories. I want them to taste real good. Going I, down. as every fat kid loves, <laughs> cake. <laughs> so the rum cake is very good to me, but we've got $10 left. So 
So it's, I'm choosy with my $10. It's up to Emily. For, she still has one drink still to get and or a souvenir. I don't think we're gonna be able to get both. Um, I don't think so either. I think that the drink is probably going to, uh, to be all that we can do for the day. Yeah. And you have to share that with me because I shared my daiquiri with you. Like two sips, <laughs> two sips. We don't share food or drinks. We all. try, but it never works. <laughs> we, don't, we don't share very well. Today, today when we were eating breakfast, he's like digging in my side and I'm like, hey, are you gonna let me have any? <laughs> At lunch, scraping the bottle of the sauce, the bottom of the sauce. Like, <laughs> hey, you gonna let me have any? We've had to share today. With $10 to spare, I got my island drink, the Parrot Crush, and that leaves us $1 on our $100 challenge, so we could not get a souvenir today.